Good morning and welcome to I've Got Wood Part 3. In today's video I am going to be installing the WP, as Sig calls it, or the wing joiner uh, piece in the front of the wing here. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to check to see the fitment of it, relieve some areas that are necessary to be relieved, and then epoxy it into place. So let's get right to it. Okay, again I'm testing out various different camera angles to see if I can find something that works the best for this. So I've got the wing sitting on a rolled up piece of rolled up towel here so that if I put any undue pressure on it I'm not damaging anything. So the first thing I'm going to do here is, well I noticed and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it here or not, that it looks like this fellow made a mistake or something. It looks like maybe he broke this rib or he cut it wrong because there's some patches here which is not going to affect this at all but it's just something I noticed. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I had mentioned in the first video that these spars weren't exactly perfect. I just want to check to see if this is going to fit all the way in here on this side and it looks like I could probably do a little bit of sanding there and so these ribs were all just cut out for the spars and a little gap for the joiner. Uh, these, he actually went through and cut the bottom piece out of this one already, but this one and this still had the center section of that um, wing rib in there, so I'm going to have to cut those out. But what I've got to assist me with sanding here is just an emery board. And it felt like this piece here needed just a, a little bit of sanding at the bottom. So it was, it's tight, but that's, that's good. I want it to be tight. Now the thing with rib, uh, ribs is they always cut, uh, kit manufacturers are always cut the ribs, or die cut the ribs with the grain going lengthwise. So on this type of thing, it makes it really strong that way, but if I were to do a cut here, you can either do like a chisel straight down cut, which is going to be problematic, or you can do a razor cut. But if you do a razor, a cut with a razor saw like I'm going to do, you have to really make sure you hold this thing so that it, the motion of going back and forth doesn't dislodge the joint and break the rib. So this, I like this fit. This fit here is good. This fit here is probably going to be all right. I'm probably going to have a little bit of a gap on this side, but I can just easily fill that with epoxy. So I think we're fine there. These two are the ones that need to be cut. So I'm going to use my razor saw here and just kind of... I'm not so much doing this as I'm doing a pull cut. thing is I'm going to have to cut both. And I don't know if you're seeing this if my head is in the way, but... I have to make sure I don't go too deep and cut into the top sheeting. So it did split out here a little bit. I have to get in there, see if I can get in there with a razor blade and do a little bit of this because I'm kind of exceeding the depth this rib here is it's getting kind of and I really wish I had invested I'm gonna have to go to Hobby Lobby or Hobby Town USA and see if I can find a Another set of X-Acto knives because stuff like this is very challenging to do without a longer blade. Okay, I think I've got that out. <laughs> Let's see if this thing will slide in here. Yeah, it's tight. So I'm gonna have to see if I can get in here with the emery board. Dressing up here. <laughs> oh, it's still really tight down there. 
So I'm really having to try to put pressure on this like this so I can get down there at the bottom of this rib right where it meets the sheeting. Because that's where the tight spot is. And it's also the deepest spot, the hardest spot for me to try to get with the razor blade. It almost feels like I might have a little bit of a nub down there. See, I got a popsicle stick here. This is what I'm actually going to be using to mix the epoxy with when I get to that point. See, I don't think I can... Let's just see if this is going to go now. Yeah, you hear that? When you hear that sound, that's when you need to start holding things. And sometimes just with insertion, I'm doing this a few times is enough to... So we should be good there. Now it's just a matter of doing the same cut on the rib here. Yeah, it looks like this camera angle over here is really, I'm obscuring it with my arm. So I'm having to do two cuts here because there's a gap. Obviously there's a gap here and so I need to cut here and here to get that piece of wood out. Looks like I got it there. Let's see, I'm hitting this over here, which is not something I want to do. Okay. That's up. Let's see if this will fit in here. That fits in there nicely. Now let's just do a whole fitment here. <clears throat> so I'm sitting here blowing balsa shards all over the place. So I was going to epoxy this in place. And now I'm kind of wondering about that. It looks like there's still a little bit of a... It's tight. See now it's kind of like one of those things where my sheeting, this is the, the it's not deep enough such that I've got 330 seconds above this like this. It's, it's I don't want to go and cut this, try to cut this joiner down. It's almost like my sheeting is going to have to be notched out a little bit to butt up against that instead of go over the top of it. So this this piece of sheeting here is going to have to have a notch cut in it. Just a slight notch. So, the thing is, you know, I really don't want to be blowing that all over the place, but... So that's in there, and it, it looks really good. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it in here or not, on that angle. This angle, it looks really good. Fits really good. Can I get it out? I don't know. And the other question is, do I have something really quickly to mix up some epoxy on? This is such a tight fit that I could probably almost just do it without epoxy. I'll just use CA to do this. But I think the best thing to do is epoxy it. Where is that still? It's still kind of tight here. I think it's tight here because this isn't straight, so it's kind of putting pressure on it because that feels really good. That's got a little tightness, and that feels pretty good, so maybe it's here. And now I'm trying to go up and down to sand as opposed to this way, so I'm not putting stress on the ribs and the joint here, that way. Yeah, I like the way that fits. This is gonna be a really thin, it's not gonna take much epoxy at all. 
So let me um, pause things here real quick and go get a paper plate. Okay, I've got a paper plate here. I'm gonna just do it right here instead of trying to move cameras and everything. I've got uh, just some DevCon five minute epoxy. I'm just going to squeeze out what I believe is an appropriate amount. Mix it. Keep in mind, I've done this, I can't even tell you how many hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times I've mixed epoxy and done exactly what I'm showing you today on all the different airplanes I've built, repaired, etc. So, what I'm going to do here is this thing. I'm going to put a light coat of epoxy on the spars. I mean, I may have really underestimated how much epoxy this was going to take to do this, but that's okay. Yep, I underestimated how much epoxy it really is going to take, but this is plenty to hold it to do its job. Then all that excess that comes squeezing out, I can go take that and put it down here along the bottom. And then force these, shove some in this joint here that touches the rib. That's really the key thing there is. I'm not probably going to end up having to go back through here and maybe, let me just do it right now. Let me go turn off some timers. Mix up another little bit of this here. Some kind of make a, a fillet on these ribs. A little area I can get it here. This epoxy to bond. This section is going to need some right down in there. I'm not super, super concerned about this because um, the wing, if, if, and this is a big if, is if this plane ever actually goes into the air, which, like I said, is pretty big if. It's not like it's going to be overpowered by any means and it's not going to be doing a whole lot of serious aerobatics. So I'm, ser I'm not really concerned about in this wing center section being stressed in flight, especially being a three channel. It's not like I'm going to be doing a lot of rolls or anything like that with it. So there you have it. That's uh, pretty much the wing joiner installation and all of this dust and stuff that's in here. And just scoop that down in there and let it, instead of cleaning it out, I'll just let it fall into place on the epoxy. So the next thing I'll be doing here with this will be, you know, probably sheeting or either putting the trailing edges, trailing edges on. Okay, so that was fun. Um, been a while since I've done any epoxying in a wing also. So that was enjoyable.
had a lot of fun doing that. Just going to let it sit here and cure, go put the wing back up and get this off the table so that Sasha doesn't come over here and uh, get curious about it. But other than that, that concludes part three of this uh, I've Got Wood series. Hopefully very soon we'll be ready to actually start covering the wing.